So there's a video that went viral showing NFL player Jawan Johnson's wife, Shannon Johnson, showing what it's like to be an NFL wife. It's got a lot of women mad and attacking them, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you what it's like to be an NFL wife. First things first, I get up at 6 a.m. and make some eggs for my husband. And then I add a lot of sugar in the eggs because he absolutely loves sugar and syrup in his eggs. And then he's going to go ahead and eat without me because I have to make the bed really quick. And there you go. Then I give him his jacket and his iron clothes for the day. I got eyelash extensions so I look pleasing to him. And then I cleaned his shower. That way he can take a shower later and then he left his clothes on the floor for me to uh, fold, so yeah. It's really sad how feminism has destroyed our women in our society so much that when you see a woman doing wifely duties, she's being attacked and called a maid. Shannon is obviously a traditional wife and she loves being there for her husband. Instead of getting upset, some women out there need to realize they have been lied to and bamboozled out of a happy life with a healthy relationship with the man. These thoughts like, oh, she's a maid. Why is she cleaning up after him and picking up his clothes? Is she his mother? Fellas, whenever you hear a woman say, I'm not your mama, or I'm not cooking or cleaning, or use the excuse that she can't cook or not that good at it to avoid cooking for you at all, then you need to about face and run, period. That's a feminist minded woman and you cannot build a healthy, happy relationship with a woman who won't even acknowledge her role or fulfill her duties as a woman. Here's another video of Shannon and her husband. And if a wife morning before practice routine, my husband actually despises the sound of an alarm clock. So I always make sure to wake up a little early. That way my soothing sound of my voice can wake him up from his slumber in the morning. And then I went ahead and started to watch his film for him and took notes. That way I can give him a scouting report for this Friday's game. And then he started his morning meditation and yoga, which I provided the ambiance for. But then he actually asked me to leave because I was disturbing his peace. So I went ahead and started to clean all of the doorknobs that he's going to be using for the morning. That way we practice caution and ensure his safety and health. And then after that, I ran out to the car with his morning coffee. That way I can start the car, heat it up, and make sure that the steering wheel is clean. That way he stays nice and safe on his ride to work. You know, Jawan was selected as a free agent rookie, I believe with the New Orleans Saints. So he's not rich. He doesn't have the big contract, but she is there to be her man's cheerleader. She's supporting him by providing him the love, respect, and peace he needs to be able to go out there and succeed. And if I'm not mistaken, he was just made active on the team's roster the other day ago, working hard to prove his worth in the NFL. And Miss Shannon is also working hard to prove that she belongs there too. You know, a lot of black people have so much self-hate in them. They think Jawan somehow doesn't deserve this treatment from his wife. Let me tell you something. I know a lot of people are getting obsessed with money and talking about high value, low value, but every husband and wife should structure their home or their household in a traditional state. I don't care if you make $100,000 or $200,000 a year or your man makes forty dollars or $50,000 per year. It's amazing how you can see couples of other races who are not rich that thrive together and build healthy families just by everyone playing their position. Men being masculine and the leader and women staying in their feminine role. I get sick and tired of hearing women say they will submit to a man who has money or they will cook and clean for a man that's worth it. Sis, why are you even dating a man you can't submit to? What does his money have to do with whether or not you're gonna respect him and submit to him? If you're a masculine woman and you don't routinely do these things already, what makes you think you'll be able to all of a sudden snap feminine on? It has to be engraved in you. Stop with all the fake femininity too, because you know what? You guys are not fooling anybody with that. Let's go ahead and watch another one of Shannon videos. Post game day routine, NFL wife edition. My husband woke up this morning and requested a Christmas movie. So I turned on Elf while I brought him his breakfast as he was on the phone with the boys. And then he actually let me know that he was disgusted with how dirty the house was and I completely agree. So I immediately dropped everything and started to do that for him because I believe that a clear mind starts with a clean house. And then my husband got super sleepy, so he went ahead and took a nap this afternoon. But I'm honestly so grateful because he allotted me some time to finish my duties. And then he asked that I go ahead and clean his car for him. So I took out our Ritz-Carlton toothbrush, which he requires me to clean the car with. And then I went over there and started to clean the car while he took his nap. All right, so here's another thing. You know what's more important than your education, your job, and even your looks? Your attitude, your ability to cooperate, your ability to get with your man's program. 
By now, y'all should be tired of seeing all these fine single women. You should be tired of seeing the bachelor degrees, master degrees, PhDs, all single. We see the proof right here with our eyes. The biggest thing that sets those women apart from women that know how to keep a man is their attitude and their ability to cooperate with the man. Let's see if we can go ahead and get into another video. And if a wife Christmas Eve routine, first things first, I woke up bright and early and made my husband his cake that he requested for breakfast. And then I actually noticed that he went ahead and opened up a couple of his Christmas presents a little early, which it does look like he enjoyed what he saw, but I did run to the store and buy him a few more just in case. And then I also noticed that he didn't wear his ring today when he left for work. And I'm sure it's just because he's planning on going out with the boys later after work, but I went ahead and bought him a new one that he'd be proud to wear also. And then he said he wanted to take some Instagram pictures later, so I got him ready to take these pics with the Pearly White Deluxe Teeth Whitening Kits that we absolutely love. And when he got home, I went ahead and just started getting it ready for him. Um, I know that he wants to look good for all the girls he takes his pictures with, so I went ahead and just did that. And I'm so lucky because he did allow me to go ahead and whiten mine as well, so that's us together whitening our teeth. So I guess I'll go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Shannon is obviously white or non-black. And I'm not an IR dating advocate. I believe the best thing we can do as a people is marry someone within your own race in order to preserve your race. And to me, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, that goes for everybody. But what I'm not gonna do is attack Shannon. She's doing everything the right way. And in this case, Mr. Johnson chose her. And they are happy, you know why? Because she saw his program and decided that she was willing to join it, participate and cooperate. Instead of attacking Shannon, you feminist-minded women, you need to get with the program. Find you a man you can cooperate with. Fellas, if you're dating a woman right now that won't cooperate, you need to expel her from the program. Women like this who won't cooperate, they are liabilities. You can't get anywhere with them. They will drain you, destroy you, and that goes for any race. Now, ladies, you want a man? You're tired of being single and alone? You're tired of doing everything on your own? You want a man to protect you and provide? Well, you need to first check your attitude and second, learn how to cooperate. Listen, the gender war is over. So we're not gonna do all the back and forth, cut out all the foolishness and just cooperate. Ladies, comment below if you're ready to change, if you're tired of the same results and you desperately want to stop fighting and get to understanding. Fellas, you're also welcome to comment. Everybody just make sure you're respectful. You guys like this video? Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to get more content and be sure to share.